comes the body wall. Body wall consists of three things, the cuticle, the epidermis, and the basement membrane. Cuticle is composed of the external thin layer, which is referred to as the epicuticle. It is formed of proteins and the wax. It lacks the chitin layer. Then comes the procuticle, which basically has the outer thin layer and tough pigmented chitin layer, which is called as exoskeleton, and the inner thicker layer, which is soft as compared to the exocuticle, is referred to as the endocuticle. Then comes the epidermis. Epidermis is the single layered cell, which is formed of the columnar cells. It has the dermal glands, which secretes the overlying cuticle, and therefore it is also referred to as chitin chitogenous membrane. This epidermis also has the extensions, the trichogen cells, which results in the formation of the ceta. And these are the movable structures, bristle-like structures, which are present on the surface of the cockroach. And these are the spines, which are immovable structures. So this was all about the uh, body wall, and that to up, up to the epidermis layer. Then comes the basement membrane. This basement membrane is basically the single layer cell membrane on which the rest of the body wall rests. The various function of the body wall is to pro provide the proper shape to the uh, body. It also protects the inner visceral parts of the body. Its waxy coating checks both absorption and the loss of water besides making the body unwettable. It provides hard surface for the attachment of body muscles. It helps in respiration by allowing diffusion of carbon dioxide. The outgrowth of cuticle form sensory, defensive, feeding, copulatory, and locomotory organs. Then comes the endoskeleton. Basically, the exoskeleton surface, this cuticle, is extended inwards, and growths are there, and those engrowths leads into formation of epodemes. These epodemes are collectively referred to as endoskeleton. The thorax and abdomen have small epodemes. The head contains a rigid framework called the tentorium. Then comes the locomotion. Locomotion, in case of frog, there is double mode of locomotion. It is running and flying. Running is basically brought about by the prolegs, which pulls the body forward, and the meta legs, which gives the push. Basically, as I have already explained, in case of cockroach, there are three pairs of legs, the pro-legs, meso-legs, and meta-legs. So uh, the uh, two legs which are mainly involved in the forward push and the pull of the uh, legs are the pro-legs and the meta-legs, whereas uh, while moving, while running, these are the cursorial animals which runs very fast. Their legs have been modified accordingly. Their legs are referred to as the cursorial run, uh, legs because they are fast runners. Uh, while running, three legs are kept at ground and the other three are carried forward. Pro and meta legs of one side are kept forward and these are supported by the meso leg of the other side. Basically, the pro and the meta legs of one side are involved in giving that required push for moving forward, whereas the meso leg of the other side rest at that time. And the opposite happens with the other side also. Next mode of locomotion is flying, although it is rare, but it is observed that it also shows flying. Uh, that flying is because of the beating of the wings. Basically, there are as it belongs to insecta class, it also has two pair of wings, but the four wings are modified into membranous structure and they are not involved in flying. They are the hind wings which are involved in the flying purposes. They beat the wings in oblique manner. Four wings are held at right angles to the body by flying. And there are two muscles which are responsible for the flight purposes. These are the vertical muscles and the longitudinal muscles. And these muscles are not directly attached to the wings, rather they are attached to the body walls. So these are the muscles. These are the vertical muscles and these are the longitudinal muscles. This is the tergum, which is the sclerite. And these are the hind wings. Basically, what happens is that the vertical muscle contracts and at this time the longitudinal muscle relax. As a result, the tergum is depressed and the wings are pushed upwards. And when the reverse happens, the vertical muscles when are relaxed and the longitudinal muscle contracts, this elevates the tergum and as a result, the wings moves downward. This flapping brings about the flight movement in case of cockroaches.
then comes the body fat body and the corpora adiposa in case of cockroaches as is found in all the kind of insects there is the the viscera is surrounded by a cavity which is called as body cavity but as this cavity is not lined by mesodermal epithelium it is a false ciliom and this ciliom contains the blood therefore this body cavity is referred to as hemocele this hemocele is has the fat body or corpora adiposa which surrounds the viscera it basically develops from mesoderm and apart from having the fat in its cell it also has certain specialized cells those are trophocytes when they store protein and glycogen they also store the nitrogenous waste material in the form of uric acid then they are referred to as urate cells and they also have symbiotic microorganism basically the bacteroids then they are referred to as mycetocytes